The Israeli Mafia, also known as the Israeli Mob, is a criminal organization that operates mainly in Israel but also has a presence in other parts of the world, including Europe and the United States. It is believed to have emerged in the 1970s and 1980s, primarily as a result of the influx of Jewish immigrants from the former Soviet Union. The Israeli Mafia is involved in a wide range of criminal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion, money laundering, and human trafficking. One of its primary sources of income is the production and distribution of the drug ecstasy, which is often manufactured in illegal laboratories in Europe and then smuggled into Israel and other countries. The Israeli Mafia is known for its ruthless tactics and is not afraid to resort to violence to achieve its goals. It has been implicated in a number of high-profile murders and assassinations, both in Israel and abroad. The Israeli Mafia is a highly organized and hierarchical organization, with a complex structure that includes various factions and cells. It is believed to have close ties with other criminal organizations, including the Russian Mafia and the Italian Mafia. Despite efforts by law enforcement to crack down on the Israeli Mafia, the organization continues to operate and expand its criminal activities both within Israel and internationally. The Chinese Triads, also known as the Chinese Mafia, is a criminal organization that originated in China but now operates worldwide. It is believed to have emerged in the 17th century and has since become one of the most powerful and influential criminal organizations in the world. The Chinese Triads are involved in a wide range of criminal activities, including drug trafficking, human trafficking, extortion, money laundering, and illegal gambling. They are also known for their involvement in the counterfeit goods trade and the theft of intellectual property. The Chinese triads are highly organized and structured, with a complex hierarchy that includes various levels of leadership and membership. They operate in a decentralized manner, with individual groups or branches operating independently but still remaining part of the larger organization. The triads use a number of symbols and codes to communicate with each other, including the use of numbers and colors. They are also known for their elaborate initiation rituals, which often involve violent acts or other forms of criminal activity. The Chinese triads have a significant presence in many parts of the world, including the United States, Canada, and Australia. They are known for their involvement in organized crime and are considered a serious threat to public safety. Despite efforts by law enforcement to crack down on the Chinese triads, the organization continues to operate and expand its criminal activities both within China and internationally. The Colombian drug cartels are criminal organizations that are involved in the production, 
transportation, and distribution of illegal drugs, primarily cocaine. These cartels emerged in the 1970s and 1980s and quickly became some of the most powerful and dangerous criminal organizations in the world. The Colombian drug cartels are highly organized and operate on a global scale, with links to other criminal organizations around the world. They have vast networks of drug trafficking routes and are known for their use of violence and intimidation to protect their interests. The most notorious of the Colombian drug cartels was the Medellin cartel, led by Pablo Escobar. This cartel was responsible for a reign of terror in Colombia in the 1980s, including the bombing of a commercial airliner and the assassination of numerous government officials and law enforcement officers. Another prominent Colombian drug cartel is the Cali Cartel, which emerged in the 1980s and was known for its sophisticated smuggling operations and its use of bribery and corruption to protect its interests. In recent years, the Colombian government has made significant progress in dismantling the drug cartels and reducing their influence. However, these organizations continue to operate and there are concerns that other criminal groups may take their place. The Colombian drug cartels have had a devastating impact on Colombia and other countries around the world, contributing to violence, corruption, and instability. The production and distribution of illegal drugs continues to be a major challenge for law enforcement and governments around the world. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up until I can't hear The Serbian Mafia, also known as the Serbian Organized Crime, is a criminal organization that operates primarily in Serbia, but also has a presence in other parts of the world, including Europe and the United States. It is believed to have emerged in the 1990s during the Balkan Wars as a result of the destabilization of the region. The Serbian Mafia is involved in a wide range of criminal activities, including drug trafficking, arms trafficking, human trafficking, and prostitution. It is also known for its involvement in contract killings, extortion, and money laundering. The Serbian Mafia is highly organized and operates in a hierarchical structure with a complex network of leaders, soldiers, and associates. It has close ties to the Serbian government, military, and police, and is known to have infiltrated these institutions. The Serbian Mafia is believed to have connections to other criminal organizations, including the Russian Mafia and the Italian Mafia. It is also known to have ties to extremist groups, including neo-Nazi and far-right organizations. Despite efforts by law enforcement to crack down on the Serbian Mafia, the organization continues to operate and expand its criminal activities both within Serbia and internationally. It is considered to be one of the most powerful and dangerous criminal organizations in the world. The Serbian Mafia has had a devastating impact on Serbia and other countries, contributing to violence, corruption, and instability. The production and distribution of illegal drugs continues to be a major challenge for law enforcement and governments around the world. I got nightmares in my head, I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature 
Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy. And silently, it can build and build until you finally see. Whoa, it's taking over. Damn, no closure, moving closer. No exposure, I just wanna be a loner. Uh, some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders. Like moving boulders just to get out of the home and suck. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. 